Hi everybody, No, the Peaceful Wanderer here. I'm again in the south of France, just south of a town called Pezenance on the Mediterranean Sea. Came out today for a little swim. Even though it's November, my body just needed a, a refresher. And I try to take uh, I try to take cold showers every day to invigorate the, the 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 inner workings of the body and really get the really get the soul energized. Um, I don't know much science is behind it, but it definitely makes me feel good. And sometimes getting in the sea with the salt water really brings brings a new life to the body. And it had me thinking about what kind of talk I was going to do today. And I realized there's so much to talk about, so much to share, so much for us to think about and use our minds to contemplate and come up with. But sometimes it's just important to do something, not think of something. Sometimes what's most important is that we relax the mind and get out and do something physical. You know, I love hiking. Um, I love golfing, I love swimming, I love being outside, but sometimes just sitting is no good for the body. Sometimes you have to be really active. Climb a tree, I remember when I was a child, all I did was climb trees. And the joy and the, and the stress of climbing the tree, because worrying about falling out of the tree always had me on a little bit of an edge. But that edge, you know, we've come to fear that edge as we've gotten older, because we see that as a, an anxious thing and we don't want to ever be anxious. It's okay to be anxious. We just don't want to be anxious when there's nothing to be anxious about. You know, climbing a tree or going swimming in some water that you can't see to the bottom, you should have a little tentative fear. That's okay. It's what the body has thrived on for millions of years. So if we don't put ourselves in these stressful situations naturally, then if we just sit around and do nothing and sit on a computer for hours and hours and hours and just watch TV, we, we tend, our body, our brain needs these stressors. And all of a sudden it will just create these stressors out of thin air because we're not providing them in our natural life. So constantly challenge yourself to get out there and do some vigorous exercise and climb a mountain. Um, you know, I've done skydiving. I've done, I've done everything. I pushed myself to so many limits with, with um, skiing and snowboarding. Um, Heights, great heights, going to the top of the Empire State Building and just looking over can be, can be exhilarating and terrifying at the same time. I think it was Eleanor Roosevelt who said, do something every day that scares you. Not, not for, not terrifies you, but something that gets your, gets your anxiety and your fear up just a little bit so you learn to realize that that's what we're supposed to live with. Millions of years ago, animals chased us through the woods. Giant bears and things were looking to eat us. We were constantly living with anxiety and fear. But that was natural. That was supposed to be that way. Nowadays, people just have anxiety and fear over just sitting down. Just being in a loud restaurant can cause someone anxiety and fear because they never introduce it in their natural life. So again, it comes down and let's not overthink things all the time. Let's take a break from our mind once in a while and just do. Just do something that gets the blood pumping, that just gets us out of our thoughts and makes us get back to those animalistic instincts, which we're hardwired to do anyway. And that's my advice. I came out today for a beautiful swim. The water was a little cloudy, so there was a little anxiety about is the shark gonna bite me? And that's good. It made, my, it made my blood pump a little harder. The cold water made my body tense up just a little bit and I had to relax my mind and gently go into it. And that was good, it was invigorating. It was better than drinking a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee just artificially gets you exhilarated. We don't need that. We need to get into the cold water. We need to get into places that make us alert and respond without thinking, but just reaction. And so that's my advice today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful scenery. And that's all I have to say. Peace.